Hello, welcome to Cards by Kate Fletcher. Today I'm really excited to bring to you the newest collection from Hell's Couple Ditch and Craft Consortium. It's called Bluebells and Buttercups and we're going to explore it together. Now I don't have the full collection because the full collection was over £60 and I just don't have that kind of money. So I do have the 12 by 12 pad which we'll explore now and then I have a few extra bits. Now I haven't seen this, I've only seen like spoilers that I've seen on social media so you're going to get very honest reactions as always. So on this front page cover we have a load of cut apart cute little animals. How adorable are they? I love this little badger. Oh my word. We have the donkey. We last saw this donkey in the Nativity collection. He is super cute. I'm so happy to see him. Then we have our um, a topper sheet. So I normally cut these out and use them as toppers. So we have the bunny with the blue bow. We have the bunny with the chicks. We have our donkey. We have a squirrel on a swing. How adorable is he? Look at the bunnies and the squirrel there. We have the deer with the bird. We have these gorgeous, I just love these badges. I'm sorry, but I really do. Then they're having a picnic and then we have the birds in the trees. I just love these. I cannot wait to start crafting with this. Oh wow, look at this. How gorgeous is that checked gingham? That is beautiful. Really nice. Really nice tones. Love that. Okay, so you get a good few sheets of each. Now we're on to the storyboard part. I don't know if that's the proper name, but that's what I call it. So we have the bench seat here and the swing. It's almost like they've just vacated. You can almost feel that swing blowing in the breeze where someone's just jumped off and run off. We have the pathway here. And we have a picnic scene here. Look how good those look. You can almost taste those. And what's on the back? Ooh! That's pretty. So it's like stripes in pastels. I like that. Okay. Yay. Okay, so we do normally get these pages that have the, um, what's it called? Iridescence machine. Very, very pretty. Um, I really like how they look out of the circles. It reminds me of Christmas Village a bit because that is um, one of my favourite collections and there were um, the characters looking at the circles in that collection as well. But how adorable are they? I love those. That's given me an idea for a card. <laughs> and then we have it on the back but they don't have the um, iridescence to them. I'm not sure iridescence is the right word. It's escaping me right now, but you know what I mean. I quite like the contrast of the black. I do quite like that. So we have a good few of those. Next, oh, we have the bluebells and the bees. That's really nice. And on the back, okay, so we have it again, but with a white background. Not sure which one I prefer, actually. Hmm, which one do you like? Do you like the white or do you like the green? This kind of makes me think winter, which is weird because you don't get bees in winter. <laughs> and this is... I think it's the shade of the green. It kind of says Halloween to me, which again, you haven't got bees at Halloween, but my brain obviously works in very strange ways. <gasps> wow, look at this beautiful. I love the colours on these papers. And again, it's like the um, iridescent sheet. Beautiful. Oh. We've got it in yellow and again it's actually got the sheen both sides. 
love that I actually think the blue one in this one is my favorite I really like the blue with the blue the butterflies um I don't dislike the yellow but I think it, the blue will be the one that gets used up first <laughs> Now we have our sentiments. So this is a regular feature in our craft consortium collaborations. Um, we generally, with the Hells lines, get these sheets in the um, 12 by 12 and 6 by 6s. But I like that because you can fussy cut them and, you know, they work. And again, this has got the um, slight iridescent sheen to it. And on the back, okay, we have it and it's in black. That's interesting. I really like the contrast. I like that they do the contrast. I like that you get given an option. Yes, it's the same words, but I like the option of having a white background or a black background. I do like that. Right, let's see. What is next? Oh, that is beautiful. That is so spring-like I love it I really like that that makes me think of my nan and I have no idea why but it does and then we have a blue as well again I actually prefer the pale one I like the blue but I'm leaning towards the yellow what do you think? Do you have a preference? Oh, let me know. Oh, now that's different. We have not had anything like this before. We have a large 12 by 12 picture. I like that a lot. I really, really, really like that. We have not had this in any of the collections before and I'm loving it and I could easily put this in a box frame in Philippa's nursery in fact that is exactly what I'm going to do I love that I absolutely love that and then on the back look at this picnic set and look at this picnic scene I just oh that's just gorgeous but I do love, I love this. And what I might do is send one of these to New Zealand and um, tell her to buy, my sister, to buy a box frame for it to go in and I'll pay for it. And then um, the cousins can have matching wall art in their bedrooms. I love that. I, oh, I can't tell you how much I love that. That's such a lovely touch and so different. <gasps> oh. oh, now the sun's playing havoc. Can you see? These are glittered. But the sun's just decided to, yeah, it's shown. Those are so fun. I love those. I'm so easily pleased, but I really love those. And then you have them on the back and they're not actually glittered. But look, I just love those. I will definitely be fussy cutting a whole sheet of these. I would hate that for nothing. Next we have yellow with green spots. That's kind of fun. And I really like that purple. That's my favourite of the two. And that makes me think of um, a giraffe with the measles, which is really bizarre. <laughs> but I do like it. I just, I love this purple one. And I think that's going to be it. Let's see what's on the back cover. We have some more cutter parts. Look at that beautiful heart. We have the flowers. Oh, I just love this. Absolutely love this. Look. I don't think this cover is going to last very long, I will be honest. Normally, the cover is the last thing I attack in my paper pads. Um, but I want these 
cut apart now <laughs> so this cover is not going to last long so that is the 12 by 12 i'm really sorry for the light the sun is going in and out the card so hopefully it has not been too dark for you next i have the um, wooden shapes you have 10 in here I could not resist getting the wooden shapes. So let's have a look. We have a picnic basket. We have the donkey. We have a really cute bunny with the bluebells. The gorgeous little bird. We have a little chick. Philip will love that. We have a bunny with cupcakes. We have one of the cupcakes, we have a deer, we have another deer, and we have the badger, yay! I love him. I think that's my favourite character from this collection, definitely. There's just something about that badger, it's just the best. Okay, now, if you've been following me a while... You will know I've gone a bit washi tape crazy. So I did have to get the washi tapes that came in the collection. That's the packaging. So we have two. Uh, 10 metres of washi tape, 5 metres on each. We have the oh, absolutely beautiful gingham that I really liked on the paper pad. And we also have... I can find the end we'll stretch it out a bit there we go we have the um scenes so let's see look at that isn't that just adorable i love that that's gonna look so good in my creative journal and you could definitely use this to edge cards and things as well I love that. So we had two washi tapes. And then the other thing I got was the decoupage kit. So let's have a look. Oh my goodness, just look. So we have the picnic. We have the bunny with the chicks. In fact, we have two of those. We have the squirrel on the swing. It's two of those. We have two of the bunnies on the chair with the squirrel. Look how gorgeous these are. And we have um, two of the badges, which I love obviously because <laughs> you know i'm loving the badges and then there is the other one of the picnic so that is my collection from bluebells and buttercups as i said i could not afford to get the whole collection because it was well over 60 pounds and i just don't have that kind of money which made me sad because i really like to get the whole collection and it's the first one for quite a long time that i haven't got everything in it um to give you an idea there was also in this collection there were stamps there were some metal charms there was sequins uh, I'm just trying to think if I missed anything else. There was a lot in there. So um, if you head over to Craft Consortium's website, you'll definitely be able to see everything on there. I got mine from Craft Stash purely because I had some points to use. They normally have a lot of good deals on Craft Stash as well for all the different elements. But this time there wasn't. There was just um, a slight reduction on the whole collection, which... I still couldn't afford um but they didn't have their elements on offer which was surprising 
Um, and really quickly before I go, I just wanted to show you this, which was also in my package, but not related to bluebells and buttercups. So this was a super six offer. Um, and this was actually free the weekend that I did my pre-order for the bluebells and buttercups. So super six offers are available at Craft World. If you're not on there already, definitely have a look. Um, and I didn't even have to pay postage because I'd spent the money to get over free postage on this collection. So that was good. So I have a Wiry Words stamp set already that I won last year. But I really liked the look of this. So I decided to get that as well. And it has come with my collection. So that is the Bluebells and Buttercups new collection. It is by Hell's Couple Ditch and Craft Consortium. You know I love their collaborations you know i love their designs so definitely keep an eye on the channel because there will be a lot of stuff coming your way using this collection let me know if you've got it yourself and if you got any of the extra bits and what you think of them what are the stamps like um let me know what you think of the collection if you haven't bought it um, I really like to know what do you think of my little wiry word stamp set as well. So thank you very much for watching today. If you're not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It absolutely means the world to me every time I get a new subscriber. And I love getting to know you guys in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope everyone is safe and well. I'll be back soon with more videos. But until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.